and welcome back to another video on my channel and um, my cubicle of the internet. Um, one thing you may notice, uh, I got a new neck on my guitar. No, I didn't. I bought a whole new guitar. This is a um, Mexican standard Stratocaster, so it's like an actual Fender. It's a real guitar. Um, am I going to do a gear review on it? No. I have decided that I'm no longer going to do gear reviews on this channel because one, um, there are much better people to do it on on, on YouTube than me uh, because I have I use a Kindle to record so that the sound quality isn't great and number two because I find it rather pointless because again there are more people to do it than me and I thought that there there are a lot of people who do that. And there are less people who talk about music and, and the rock industry. So I decided to test what I'm going to do. So, but I was working, I'm working right now on learning some stuff because I'm always learning. But um, that's why I have my guitar and I'm too lazy to put it away. So I don't care if it bothers you, it's going to stay here. And if you don't like it, go away. Uh, but today I am uh, going to. I, I was learning some stuff, and I was, and I, and, I, and it recently at school there was some stuff that happened with guitars, and I I was I, not particularly bothered, but I was thinking about this, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make a video, so I'm going to make a video. Um, you'll notice that I'm not in the palace anymore, and the lighting's bad. I again don't care. I'm working. I'm just doing this to get it out of my way so that I continue can continue working and get this off my mind. So uh, recently, at my school, they gave uh, I think it was Wings of Kindness gave away 20 free guitars, which I think is wonderful. That's great. You know, get if somebody wants to learn guitar and they're financially challenged, give them a guitar and let them try to learn. However, I noticed that people who were more financially, I don't want to say fortunate, I don't want to say enabled, but you know what I mean, like they, they were, they definitely can buy their own guitar, we're taking them, and now, now this is kind of con probably controversial, and again, I support anybody who wants a guitar to take one, I, I encourage anyone to take one, uh, but some of these people... Um, you know, in my mind, I thought they're not actually going to learn. They just want to have, they, they just taking it because it's there, it's available. And I, I don't, morally, I don't think that's right. Um, you might not believe the same thing that I do. Um, but, oh, well, I don't care. Um, a lot of videos may be controversial on this site and, oh, well. Um, but, you know, I thought to myself, some of these, some of them will use them, and others may not, and, you know, what's the point of taking one if you know in your head that you're just getting one because they're available, not because you actually want to learn guitar and, and, and you know, have, have something for a guitar. And that led me on to think that a lot of people who start guitar just quit because because of so many different reasons and you know a lot of people quit because they're either being taught things that they're not interested in learning but they're told that you have to learn this to be able to know how to play guitar or they are not familiar with their gear enough to have a pleasant playing experience um, you know, or they have to fight with it, or the, the, the equipment they're using is just bad. There are so many reasons. So I thought that I would come up with a list of things that I thought that were common, that reasons people quit learning the guitar, um, or any musical instrument really, but mostly the guitar, because this is my number one instrument. This, this right here is my child, basically. Um, so... You know, and I encourage people to learn guitar because it's wonderful. Really, it is. Um, so this is, th it's in no particular order at all. I just wrote everything down so that I didn't forget it. Um, so here we go. The first thing on my list is play what you want. Now, this refers to people taking lessons 
and they're learning and they go in and they're like, oh man, I want to learn, oh God forbid, Guns N' Roses, that's what I want to play, or Metallica stuff. That's okay. I don't like either one of those, but if that's what you want to learn, learn it. Um, play it. And most of the time, the guitar teacher will be like, okay, well, you can do that later. But for now, we're going to learn this. Chords. Now, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you noticed or not, but uh, Metallica doesn't really use chords. They're mostly power chords and chugs. Um, now, there are a few exceptions. Um, I don't know any of the songs. There's one where that acoustic guitar is playing, and, and that has some chords. But, um, you know, don't spend an enormous amount of time focusing on chords. Or really pop music for that matter because they'll they'll teach you these chords with pop music like taylor swift i'm gonna be honest garbage like that's what it is um now if that's what you want to play on guitar if you want to play taylor swift pop garbage in my opinion go ahead like, sure you're playing guitar you're having fun good do it but if you want to play metallica or david gilmore and stuff don't screw around learning that. Learning the, the, the pop stuff. Learn the stuff with you want. The, the way I learn chords is I... Uh, if you haven't noticed yet, David Gilmore is like my idol. Um, he's the reason I'm in a Pink Floyd tribute band and play lead guitar. Um, but, you know, the, the way I learned chords was I just... You know, looked up how to play Wish You Were Here. Well, it, you know, it starts out with that line. Yeah, that's kind of based on chords. But then it goes into the, the, the you know, the while everybody's singing. And, you know, that's how I learned chords. Or, you know, that will teach you chords. If, but if the music that you want to play it doesn't, isn't really focused around a lot of chords and is more made up of power chords, like Metallica stuff, don't focus a lot of time on chords. Of course, learn the basics like E, D, A, A minor, E minor, G, you know, things like that. But don't, you know, spend a ton of time like A minor eleven. Nobody really needs to needs to know what an A minor eleven is. Some people do. Like if you're going to play, like dream theater stuff, you probably want to know what an A minor eleven is. And you know that leads me to another point. Focus on what you want to become. You know that that a lot of the points are the same. In the last thing I said, you know don't don't focus on the pop stuff. Focus on, on on becoming you know, the musician that you want to be, um, you know, don't, if you want to play pop music, don't waste a ton of time learning music theory, because you're not going to use it, you know, you don't have to know about, I mean, sure, learn about, like, you know, how the chord structures, and like, you know, minors, and majors, and, but don't spend a, to a lot of time learning about the different minor modes like the dorian mode or i think one's the moravian mode i'm not really concerned with that because that's not the type of music i play but i know dorian is because i hear that a lot but don't spend a lot of time learning that because you're never going to use it you know but if you do want to play like dream theater type stuff like that shredding you know using all those different things that's probably something you want to focus on is your music theory and um, the same thing goes for technique um the way you play if you want to play that dream theater stuff, technique is probably something you want to focus on. But if you want to play like Stevie Ray Vaughan, you don't need to worry about technique. Just just play it, okay? Just make the strings do what they need to do. Which is kind of sounds weird, but I don't care. I, it makes sense in my head, and if it makes sense in yours, great. If not, try to figure it out. And if you can't, then think harder. Um, But, you know... 
if you want to play like David Gilmore stuff, don't focus a lot on 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 technique. He didn't know technique. He doesn't even know how to learn me, read music. He just knows you know how to find the key of the chords of what you're playing in and where they are. That's something else with with focus on what you want to become. Um, you know, if you want to play that that Stevie Ray Vaughan stuff. Find where the blues boxes are on the guitar. There's five of them, and you, they move, they shift around, and and depending on what key you want to play in. But the same thing goes for like David Gilmore. He moves without in those blues boxes, and yes, he does incorporate some minor things into a major pentatonic scale, um, you know. But you don't need to focus on, you know, if I'm gonna play Stevie Ray Vaughan's and stuff, I don't need to worry about you know the Dorian mode or, or stuff like that. Don't learn more than what you need to, but learn a l learn the basics, learn a little more than the basics, but don't go crazy, okay? That's what I'm saying. Um, don't just go and do what everybody else does. You know, everybody gets an acoustic guitar, they go, and they, and they take lessons. You don't have to take lessons. Trust me. I didn't take lessons. Mark Knopfler didn't take lessons. Dire Straits. Jimmy Page didn't take lessons. Led Zeppelin. Stevie Ray Vaughan didn't take lessons. Oh, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Brian May didn't take lessons. From Queen. Okay. If that's the stuff you want to learn, Don't you don't need lessons. I mean, of course, if you want lessons and you find that you, you would learn faster or better with lessons, sure, take lessons. But if you don't need to... Like, if you want to play... If you want to know... You know those those technical things in music, like the modes and such. It would most likely be wise for you to take lessons, but you don't need to. I mean, the internet is a thing; you can learn a lot from there. But you don't have to take lessons, and even then, they'll start you out on stuff that you don't really want to learn or need to learn. Um, let's see. Okay. Something that you gotta know: guitar hurts. Yep, get used to it. It hurts your fingers. It will rip the skin apart, um, especially if you don't keep your stuff clean. And that's another thing. Um, learn your instrument. Okay, for the first two and a half year, or year and a half of my playing, I wasn't aware that cleaning the strings was an option. Clean your strings, please. Okay, if you, I suffered through a year and a half of this, you know the that those dead skin cells pile up on your strings and then every time you go to bend something they're tearing into that and it hurts i know clean your strings for crying out loud if if i if you want me to i will make a video on how to clean your strings because i do it every week every thursday that's my string cleaning day i go through I loosen them all up i you know wipe them down get all that crap off there tune it back up and, I, and there you, and it's just much easier it doesn't hurt as much and eventually, once you get your calluses in, it won't hurt, but it's still a great idea to clean your strings because it keeps them from sounding dull, and it makes them last longer, even though I change mine every three weeks. Um, so, yeah. This kind of contradicts what I said earlier with I encourage everyone to learn guitar. Play when you want, okay? If you if you are like me and, and really just enjoy playing the guitar and just music in general or any instrument and you just always want to play it, always play it like go home and learn a song that you want to learn learn it okay but if you're like uh i don't really want to do this then don't if you're not really feeling it then don't do it don't waste your time don't waste if you're taking lessons don't waste your teacher's time don't waste your money paying for lessons you know and if there is somebody that you know who really wants to play guitar and doesn't have a guitar and doesn't have the means of doing it and they ask you for it, don't be a snob and be like, ooh, I'll learn eventually. No, you won't. You have no, if you don't have any motivation to learn guitar, don't. Okay? Because if you don't have the motivation, nothing's going to become of it. Don't waste your time. Do something that you do feel like doing. Be happy with your life, even though life sucks. Um know your gear okay um now this kind of goes along with getting don't get a piece of garbage guitar to learn on i i have a guy he's in my band he is um 
actually no no i'll do something else i'll use a different example um the guitars they gave out of school are off brand they you know not the greatest at all you know i have buddies that got some um and they said you know their pickup selector blade is just it just feels bad the tone knobs don't do anything they don't stay in tune at all the amps that came with them are just trash and there's a difference between trash and beginner level and i will explain that in another video probably because i'm most likely running out of space um but the frets were not lined or put in right they were just sharp on the edges that's not what you want you know if you want to learn guitar get i'm not saying go out and spend six hundred dollars on a fender stratocaster but don't get a piece of crap either what i learned on Perf it's perfect for learning on. It is a uh, Squire Affinity Series Stratocaster. It comes with everything you need, and it, it's 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 a beginner level guitar. I will make a different video on garbage versus a beginner level guitar. Um, and then if you're if you like it, cool. Then buy yourself a real guitar. If not, you didn't lose any money. You spent two hundred bucks. You can give it to somebody else. So you know. Um, if you are a person who listens to a lot of techno <clears throat> or a lot of rap, per se, and you want to learn guitar, first of all, why is my question. If, if you're a fan of that, I'm not even going to call it music because it's not. That can be another video if you want. Um, well, techno sort of is rap definitely is not um but anyway um if you if you're all if you're interested in some type of music that has a guitar great learn guitar if not and you dislike listening to that then don't learn guitar if you know and if you don't listen to music or if you don't listen to music with a lot of guitar um but you still really want to learn guitar for whatever reason Start listening to music with guitar and familiarize with yourself with a bunch of different genres to begin with. Um, you know, listen to Stevie Ray Vaughan to get yourself a taste of the blues. Listen to Led Zeppelin and ACDC for a good taste of just rock, pure rock and roll. Listen to Pink Floyd for a wide range of things. Um, you know, stuff like that. And then find what you like. If you're listening to Stevie Ray Vaughan and he goes into one of his massive blues licks and it just makes you go, oh yeah, learn that because that's what you're going to want to learn. Um, but if you don't like any of it, then I would suggest not learning guitar because, again, you're just wasting your time. Um, now, ignore everything, everybody, or just ignore what people want. Um, you know, this kind of goes along with my band. We were a, just a classic rock tribute band type thing. We would just do classic rock stuff. But we decided to be a Pink Floyd tribute band because we thought we'd be more productive, because we enjoy the music more. And, you know, I enjoy that music more, obviously, than what we were doing. And that was the best choice for the band. However, it means less gigs, smaller audiences. And that's something you have to weigh. Um, now, I've only been two years, so don't take that specific thing as a um, as like the Bible. But um, if your parents want you to learn a certain genre of music, but you don't really want to, but you and you want to learn something else, heck with them. Learn what you want. You know, I'm kind of being rebellious here, but. Learn what you want, because if not, you're going to waste your time. You're going to quit something that can be great. Um, there may be a part two to this video, but probably not, because the other thing that I want to say really isn't that important. I just covered the basics in this one. So, yeah. Um, if you want to learn guitar, great. Go for it. Don't get yourself a piece of garbage. I'll explain what that is in, a de in another video. Um, and play what you want, really. And don't waste your time. So, uh, that's this video good and done. I'm going to go back to learning what I was learning. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it encourages you or discourages you if you're wasting your time. Uh, 
rather blunt, but oh well, that's that's who I've changed and become. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If not, I don't care, because other people probably did. Uh, I've been a band geek. This has been Semi, a band geek's palace, and have a wonderful rest of your life.